And tomorrow, October 1st, your flood insurance premium may be going up. That's if you live in a zone that tends to flood more often. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty joining us now with some advice. So you're not left asking where's the money? Yeah, hi guys. You know, this is a big deal because 74% of flood policy holders are going to see an increase and the jump may be significant, but this is again based on your level of risk. Flood insurance is required in some places, like if you border a river or a creek that can flash flood your home during heavy rains. If that's you, get ready because you're going to pay more to protect your home, and here's why. FEMA's maps are 10 to 50 years old in some cases, and they have simply not kept up with the realities of climate change. That's Nick Vinzant, an insurance expert at Quote Wizard. So how does an increase affect your wallet? Well, FEMA's new rules are going to cost 74% of North Carolina residents as much as 100 bucks more per month, depending on where you live or choose to buy. Live near the coast? You're likely going to pay more. On the flip side, if you have flood insurance as just another layer of protection of worst case scenario and you live in a place that won't typically flood, you'll be in the 26% of the population that will actually be paying less. What's now going to be happening is you're going to be paying based on the historic risk of flooding that your house has and the cost of replacing it. Experts say climate change is making the 100-year flood event a five-year event, costing everyone billions of dollars. Mecklenburg County has an interactive flood map showing you your risk based on your address, a valuable tool when you choose to buy. So it's really going to be based much more on your individual property's risk than ever before. So where do the Carolinas fall in terms of cost? South Carolina is the fourth cheapest state to get a federal flood policy. North Carolina has an average yearly cost of $733 for that policy or $61 a month. Federal policies cap at $250,000 of building coverage and $100,000 for contents coverage. Flooding covered by these policies often includes overflow of tidal water in coastal areas, rivers, and even mud flow. Now you can shop around a little bit. Now, there are some private companies that offer this type of insurance, but really just precaution here. Read the fine print on any insurance policy that you choose to get. Don't shop these things by price. If you get less, typically, if you pay less, rather, you're going to get less, guys. Yep, you get what you pay for. You sure do. Yep, A lot of ways. Always. Thank you, Bill.